go down to Rome's. So for years, Daniil Hunter has spearheaded the edge uh, for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, one of the premier pass rushers, as well as a team first guy stopping the run. And, you know, the Vikings, oh, but, but, oh my God. Every time I look at Daniil, I just like, I need, I need to work out more. Mm. Uh, but for many years, Daniil on the close side of that defense, left side, strong side uh, uh, for, with Zimmer, uh, and he had to transition. Yeah, he, he did extremely well uh, with the with the Donichel defense, and did even better having a career year with the Flores defense. And you know, Daniil, it seems like he's been in the league forever. Third round pick uh, in 2015, uh, but came into the league young. Uh, is only going to be 30 uh, in October, but it seems like he's played for a decade plus. But last year, you know, career highs and sacks was 16 and a half, tied for the league lead with tackles for loss of 23, and just proved that he. It doesn't matter what scheme he's in. Uh, he is one of the best edge rushers uh, in the game, uh, despite him not getting the the adulation of, say, Miles Garrett or TJ uh, or or Micah Parsons. It feels like Daniil and Max Crosby are in the same boat, where they're just massively underrated, uh, even though they're absolute stars, man. Uh, but you know, th- this off season. Daniel Hunter, uh, with his revised contract, uh, no tag clause, and he, it looks like he is going to hit open free agency. And we got to use up these memes while we can, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But the Vikings, you know, we, we so we, we stood on business for a long time that hey, you don't get better by letting premium players at premium positions leave. Uh, but with Daniel. You know, with the youth movement going on, Daniil and Harrison are the only two of the old guard left. And could it make sense, especially if Daniil gets overpaid in free agency? And by overpaid, I mean getting his market value? Potentially. Mm. Uh, But the Vikings apparently uh, have shot their shot. But we'll see if it goes through. Uh, This is from ESPN today. Uh, What's next for Hunter and Jefferson? Blah, 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 Jefferson, blah, 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 blah. Uh, They've also made an effort to re-sign Ed Rusher Daniil Hunter. Uh, Hunter, who had 16 and a half sacks last season and 27 total over the past two years, proving he could stay healthy with a herniated disc in his neck, by the way, uh, could be the top edge rusher on the market and would likely generate interest for multiple teams. The Vikings' attention has been focused on finding out whether they can keep Cousins, but he's not the only significant piece of business they have to address. Fowler. Uh, yeah, not as many numbers floated around uh, India as usual, but it's safe to say teams are expecting Hunter to be in, or at least searching for, a pretty massive price range, something well north of $20 million per year, uh, and the production uh, might just justify it. Hunter has averaged 14 sacks over his past four healthy seasons, and he did miss the entire 2020 season with the herniated disc uh, and a large portion of 2021 with a torn pec, but stayed healthy the last two years and, and has proven to be very productive. And I, I so I fully understand that... You know, people gripe about how much uh, the athletes make nowadays, but that's just the business. I mean, that, that's literally how much money the NFL is bringing in, and the players are getting their fair share of the pie. Uh, and spot rack estimates Daniil making $20 million per year. I think that's going to be higher. Uh, I think $20 million a year is low. Uh, I, I could see a three-year $75 million deal, $25 million per with like you know, 45 50 guaranteed, so, somewhere in there. It's going to be big. And... Uh, again, people you know complain about the big time numbers, but with Daniil on his last extension, you know the five year seventy two million dollar one, which was outdated on the market about uh, the the very second that he signed it. Again, I fully understand that that's a lot of money, but in terms of what his skill set was on the market over the last six years, uh, Daniil only averaged fifteen point four million per season, which is bot which is bottom of the league in terms of the top paid edge rushers it's barely top 30 in terms of average per season so yeah uh i know people will complain like oh well, well uh, he, he got paid when he got injured it's exactly what happens man yeah, it doesn't matter in terms of the tier one edge rusher contract so nick bosa really changed things uh last off season uh, last second uh 34 million dollars per year uh 122 and a half uh million guaranteed so that shattered records in terms of uh, the highest paid per average and highest guarantee for a non-quarterback uh, but the you know, uh, the approximate average you look at Watt and Bosa the other one uh, and then Garrett Sweat Rashawn Gary who recently just got paid so 25 26 million per season uh, is roughly the go- going rate for the top end of the market Max Crosby Max Crosby at 23 and a half is a steal uh, that's crazy, man. But I mean, should should Daniel be making more than you know guys like Bradley Chubb, the remnants of Von Miller, uh, the remnants of Klumac? Yes, yeah, yes, he certainly should be. Uh, and the Vikings, yeah, the Vikings may be priced out. And I, I I honestly see a situation where the Vikings lose 
Kirk and Daniel in free agency. So it is what it is. But the Vikings would have a power vacuum uh, if Daniel leaves because DJ Wanham is a free agent. He potentially could go elsewhere. Davenport has a void contract. He probably won't be back. Hopefully. Uh, and the only two uh, other edge rushers on the rooster are Patrick Jones, second, who's entering a uh, contract year himself off of his rookie deal. Uh, and then second year, former UDFA Andre Carr, the second out of Army. Now, the Vikings you know, could take some of that cap savings uh, that uh, they saved by not paying Daniil uh, to work. And, you know, Emmanuel Ogba, you know, former. Uh, former Brian Flores guy in Miami uh, could make some sense at a at a reduced rate. Uh, same thing with Jerome Baker. He's an uh, unrestricted free agent as well. Uh, Zadarius Smith, Yannick the freaking Gakwe, run it back. Hmm. Or uh, Chase Young, uh, since the Vikings are uh, completely into mama, I can change him situation. Yeah, got Leonard Floyd flowing out there too. Uh, you know, Josh Allen, even though that's going to be a pretty penny. Brian Burns, although he's probably going to get tagged. Uh, so, I mean, there are options of free agency, and especially the draft, especially at 11, where – you know, the Vikings, if if they go in a different direction other than quarterback uh, up at the top of the draft, I mean, Dallas Turner had himself a great combine. He's a great player. Uh, he's You're betting on the come with him. A lot to, a lot to Jared Verse, a little bit older prospects, but uh, certainly bring a little something, something to the table. Verse had himself a great combine, too. Uh, so, uh, and also, you know, there's second, third wave guys like Chop Robinson, Trice, Darius Robinson, uh, et cetera. So there, there will be options. You know, Mo Kamara is not even on this list, but I, I like him uh, in, the, in the mid to late round. So, if Daniil leaves, I mean, there will be options. But, I don't know, just like gut feeling thinks that I, I don't think the Vikings will break the bank for Daniil. I, I, I could honestly see Daniil getting 25, 26, 27 million per year. I, I don't think the Vikings will be on board with that. Uh, so, it, it is what it is. Uh, so, I, I think Daniil leaves in free agency. I think Kirk Cousins, eh, it's like 50 50 right now. Uh, but it could be a change in the guard in terms of the veterans. But,. I'm excited to see what uh, what what happens because the Vikings could reinvest in free agency. The Vikings could uh, hammer edge rusher at the top of the draft. They have a lot of options uh, to replace Daniel. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings have made an effort, quote unquote, to re-sign Daniel Hunter. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what the market bears out, man. Uh, let's uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.